Hi, my name is Usman, I'm an architectural photographer at Sonda Creative and today I'm going to show you how to get medium format colours with your full frame camera. Now if you know anything about medium format cameras you'll know that one, they cost a lot of money, two, they have much bigger sensors and three, they produce incredible colours. This is one of the key reasons why a lot of photographers upgrade to medium format cameras. The latest 100 megapixel backs from Phase 1 and Hasselblad produce 16-bit RAW files. Many other medium format cameras and full frame cameras only produce 14-bit RAW files and the difference between the two is huge. This is why you're going to get much more vibrant and accurate tones from your 16-bit 100 megapixel cameras. The latest sensor from Phase 1 is the Trichromatic and I've written about this already on fstoppers.com. I'll leave a link below so if you're interested in knowing a little bit more about this camera then uh, please check out the link on fstoppers.com. Uh, the Trichromatic is quite possibly the best sensor in the world, honestly. The colours this produces are incredible. However, the cost of this camera for a working system is going to run you by somewhere somewhere around between 30 and 40 thousand pounds and that's a lot of money and I'm guessing that most people don't have that kind of money lying around to buy a camera with. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get that level of colour or colours very close to the trichromatic with your full frame camera. Now to do this the first thing I do is always calibrate my monitor. Now I use the i1 Studio. The i1 Studio is my favourite calibrator. It's from x -Rite. This is just really really good. I, I find it to be much more accurate. I've tried using the Spider Pro ones but based on my, it's my own preference. Uh, between the two I prefer the i1. It's just really really good. And the other thing that I use is the Colour Checker Passport. Now this thing is seriously amazing, it is not a gimmick and I'm going to show you how, how effective this actually is when I compare the full frame image to the trichromatic, the 100 megapixel uh, phase 1 sensor and you'll see how this little, ch this little passport thing can get your colours from your full frame camera up to a level possibly even beyond that of medium format. Now this is not a sponsored video, I paid for this myself, I bought this from Amazon it only costs about £80 or something and I think it's probably one of the best investments I've made. I highly, highly recommend it to anyone and everyone who wants to take their photography seriously. So I've got a couple of images opened up in uh, Capture One now. We're going to have a look at the raw files straight out of the camera so you can see what they look like first and then after adding the profile from uh, x right I'm going to show you what, what it does to the Canon image and how, how much of an impact it has on that file. So here we have the two images opened up now. We've got Canon on the left, Phase 1 on the right. And even from this distance, I'm guessing that most of you can probably tell that the Phase 1 trichromatic is much, much better in terms of colours. I mean, just look at the purples and the greens, the far more vibrant. And in terms of white balance, I use the Colour Checker Passport. So I white balance using this patch over here on both of them. And even with the white balance, uh, correctly used and the lighting setup and everything was exactly the same the phase one is just much much better if we start zooming into the purples for instance i'm just going to put them side by side you'll start to notice that the canon is actually leaning more into the blue tones than the phase one is and it's not as accurate in terms of the uh, the purples over here as well this is leaning more into blue than the silver it's supposed to be if you start looking at the um, actual color checker uh, all of the colors that you see on the top row here they're just quite muted and flat on the Canon. They're not as vibrant as they are on the Trichromatic, especially if you look at this color here. This is a very, um, uh, this is a very quick and easy way to see the difference between the two. This is supposed to be like a more reddish tone, but it's actually leaning more into the oranges. But the Phase One is more accurate. Red colors tend to be quite difficult for pretty much any camera, red and, reds and purples are quite difficult and uh, you'll see on, the, on these images while I'm going back and forth the trichromatic is just so much better compared to the, the Canon straight out of the camera. Looking at the greens over here and this is going to be much clearer to see the phase one is so much more vibrant, it's more accurate and uh, the, the greens look like, they, they're just a pleasure to look at over here. The Canon, again, very flat, very muted in terms of its tones. And uh, also there isn't that much dynamic range between the colors. Like if you look at the, the green tones over here, the way they shift up into the different tones, the Canon just doesn't have that. So now that you've seen how both images perform straight out of the camera, I'm now gonna add the profile to the Canon image. And then I'm gonna show you how much of a difference that actually makes. So this is now the image with the profile attached to it and immediately, I hope you can tell, I mean I'm going to make these files available to you so you can pixel peep as well, but even from this distance, 
you can see that it's much much better in terms of what it was and what it is now if you look at the purples now it's actually the phase one which is leaning more into the blues versus the accurate purple is supposed to be and especially if you look at this green over here this green is an accurate green whereas on the phase one it's more into the oranges it's not as accurate as the Canon image anymore because we've added that profile to it now moving on to this section here again look at the Canon the colors and the differences in tones between the two um, this highlighter has never looked like that this is what the color is supposed to be and the color of this I don't, I don't know what it is to be honest but uh, this plastic thing here it's much more accurate on the uh, on the Canon and if we go back to the red tone you know the corner uh, patch on the uh, on the Canon now you can tell that this looks much more red than it previously did and it's actually more vibrant than the phase one image and again all of these tones that were previously quite muted and flat are now more vibrant than the trichromatic this is another section over here like one two and three if you just look at these colors one two three look at the difference between this one and this one and look at the difference between this one and this one do you see how much more of a difference there is between these colors versus this one the trichromatic isn't able to effectively differentiate between these two colors as much as the uh, the canon can now moving on to the greens the greens were quite tough for the canon in the last image but now if you look at the greens you've got that dynamic range back you see how it kind of goes from like a darker tone into more lighter tone and it's very pleasing that transition is there the phase one now this is something that i found which i found a little bit odd on the phase one and that's it was making up a few colors like this yellow tone that's in the sif bottle that's not actually in the sif bottle um i don't know it was just one of those things uh, obviously the depth of field is different because uh, this is going to produce a much more shallower depth of field at f2.8 but between the two the differences are now very 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 minimal now the reason I made this video is because I wanted to demonstrate how much of an impact the color checker passport will have on your images because chances are you've probably already seen a bunch of videos demonstrating how it works and you've probably already seen some of the results however I'm guessing that you've never seen it compared compared to medium format and I'm pretty certain that you've never seen it compared to the trichromatic because as you saw in the comparison that I did when you use the color checker passport with your full frame camera you can get colors up to and even beyond medium format sensors and that's the great thing about this now i'm not trying to suggest that um, the canon 5dsr with the color checker passport is better than the phase one trichromatic because that's obviously not the case ultimately they are going to be limited to the fact that they've got a 14-bit sensor and the phase one is going to have a much wider gamut so if you if you need that extra flexibility and those extra colors if you apply a custom icc profile and so on you're going to get much better results with the phase one however for 80 pounds this is incredible this is genuinely not a gimmick it really really does have a huge impact on the colors because ultimately there are only three things that actually matter in an image and that's composition lighting and colors colors are extremely important but they're very underrated in many cases because we tend to get sucked in and this is me included in this we tend to get sucked into things like iso performance dynamic range you know lens sharpness and resolution but those things don't really matter to an image i mean realistically speaking they don't really matter as much as the three main things that's composition lighting colors extremely important and on that basis I highly recommend that every single professional have something like this or a color management system that they can use to make sure that they're getting the best and most accurate um, colors from their camera I really can't stress how important it is and I really do hope that people take this on board and start implementing something even if it's not this if you don't prefer this fine but something because no matter what you say no matter how many times you say I love I like the colors coming out of my camera they're not accurate none of them are there isn't a sensor on the market that can take a picture and it's going to be 100% accurate so you do need something in place to correct that anyway just want to say thank you so much for watching my video I really appreciate you guys taking the time uh, if you have any comments or suggestions leave them below and uh, if you like this video hit the like button please subscribe uh, my next video is going to be, okay, I've been saying this for the last three videos, but uh, next video I'm going to be comparing the uh, Fuji GFX versus the Pentax 645Z. So if you're interested, make sure you're subscribed, share this video if you liked it, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.